obviously you need to get your fingers independent and stronger. And um, certainly there, there were some techniques that I learned when I was younger that helped me get my hand uh, you know, more fluid on the guitar. I found that obviously uh, the major scale is a great way to practice, okay? And I, ironically, it could wind up easily like in a Kiss song like God Gave Rock and Roll to You, but I'll show you that after. But just a simple, let's say like G. Now obviously that same scale could be done uh, chromatically up and down the neck, you know? So then you got the... and so on and so forth. Now what makes it more musical and very nice, I'll put a little effects on it, but what will make it more musical is just to do thirds. And so on backwards. That certainly is a bigger challenge, of course, you know. So um, that scale will give you a lot of independence of your fingers, okay? Uh, the scale I was referring to in God Gave Rock and Roll actually was a dominant scale, which is a, a G7 scale. That was your G major 7 scale. That's what that fits over the one I just played, or, or a regular G. And this is obviously a 7th, okay, which is like the chord in something that's going to go to a... always go to a C chord. Um, but in this case, we did... Uh, That was over. God gave rock and roll to you, you know. So just to show you how, yeah, scales wind up in songs, okay? Now one last technique I'll show you guys that is kind of, it's really hard to play, but it was something uh, that it's not so much musical, although some guys could probably make music out of it. But it was really a finger exercise, and it has to do with using the tritone, but walking across the fingerboard like a, like a spider almost, and doing this really makes your fingers very independent and strong. So I'll show you. Not about the notes here. This is all about the pattern that you're playing. Then you're jumping across to, and then you keep walking across the strings, going up one fret. And when you get there, now you're walking back down across the strings. the idea and go backwards and um, that's something that a, a jazz teacher showed me to get independence of my fingers and I prefer just jamming and playing and just play what I know but I gotta admit that when you want to expand them someone shows you a riff that shows you some uh, difficulty okay um, sometimes it is that you don't have the strength of the independence of the fingers and of course you know different riffs can be played different ways you know easily your pentatonic blue scale can be played that way someone could use the pinky you know, there's always a different fingering, but what if you want to stick in? That could be done maybe with the pinky in the third finger. Some guys don't use the pinky at all, okay? So it's, it's up to you to make the magic with what you're comfortable with and do the best you can. But remember, there's many, many different ways to do all these um, exercises and there's many different ways to uh, play the same scale. It's just like what works. There's guys with just a few fingers that can do it. So um, just get comfortable with what works for you and make sure you do it in time and that each note has um, musical emotion behind it because the scales and playing things, even when you get it to a uh, like level of perfection, it's not really going to be music until you put some emotion into it. So that's my tips for fingers and, and technique for scales.